have horses? Why do we have horses? Why do we have them? They're our helpers. Ooh, good answer. Oh, fresh fire. I should have known. <laughs> I should have known. They're our helpers, but we want them for companionship, to ride, sometimes to do work. Some of us to actually gather cows and stuff on horses, right? And you got stuff you got to do, and you want to do it. Well, being a pastor, I can't let that object lesson just go. Can I? What is this? What does God want from us? We want a relationship with our horses. God wants a relationship with us. In Genesis 1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And we jump all the way down to verse 26, and it says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, and let us give him... And you know that word him, if you look it up right there, it means men and women too. It's not a sexist thing. So, let us give him dominion over the animals, over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, over all the cattle, I like that part, over the cattle. And over everything on the earth and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. What's that word dominion? It's a big fancy word that means rule over. Well, when we rule over something, there comes a lot of responsibility with that. Proverbs 12.10 says, And a righteous man considereth the welfare of his beast, his animals. So we have a responsibility. And when we take care of our animals, we ensure their life. Now, God wants to ensure our life, doesn't he? There's only one way for that to happen. This is such a great object lesson as we say this horse's life. Because what happens when we have a horse that doesn't behave, that is mean, bad, ill-tempered? Sounds like I'm talking about kids, doesn't it, sometimes? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's why one of my favorite verses in the Bible is, beat them severely, for surely they will not die. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Some of them need a little more spanking than others. I actually, Dad, I should have had a few more spanking than those, but I guarantee you. Anyway. I'm not surprised, Charlie. Well, anyway. Those horses that are bad, mean, ill-tempered, that hurt somebody, get somebody, get somebody killed, and that happens. They end up going to the killers quite often. Somebody will abuse them, they'll get frustrated, they'll tie them up, they'll jerk them down, they'll tarp them, they'll chain them, they'll beat them. The horse's life, life is lost. The brain is lost. They just, sometimes they just destroy the animal physically, mentally, emotionally. But if we establish a meaningful, productive relationship with that horse, he becomes a working companion. If we establish a meaningful, working relationship with God, the first thing we, we got to do is turn and look at God. Feet. So the first thing I want to do is I want, now I have no idea what this horse is going to do. Um, I want this horse to turn and look at me. So what does the horse do naturally? Run away. What do we do naturally? We sin and we run away. We run away from God. And I got to get this horse to look at me. Now, I have this extra long lunge rope. It's not necessarily to beat the horse. And you know, some people call this horse whispering. I guarantee you, sometimes I whisper louder than others. I go back to that first beat them severely for surely they will not die. But sometimes a horse, just like a child or a person, needs a lesson. Now I'm looking for signs. This long lunge means I can reach out and touch this horse anywhere. I want this horse to know that I can touch it. You can run and hide. You can do whatever it is you want to do in this world. You can be mean and cruel in the darkest, most evil places. But you can't hide. God can reach out and touch We run you. naturally, Amen. the horse can run naturally. Sometimes God needs to change our direction so... I don't, usually it doesn't happen that fast. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. That horse is licking and chewing. You got a split ear. You have had a rough go around. You are just all marked up. You got a split ear. Now. She quit looking at me. She took her eyes off of me. Good girl. Oh. 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 This is what we call a joint up. This is not supposed to have this horse fast. Connect. And sometimes God will allow things to come into our lives, incidents, circumstances, to regain our attention. Give you a little bit of history on my own. Um, experience 
about 15 years ago, I can't remember, 13, 15, we take our eyes off God because of food, TV, jobs, work, money, stuff. The horse doesn't focus on me. And I'm saying, you have to focus on me because I can't teach this horse anything if it won't look, look at me. I can't, God can't teach us anything if had to learn to we don't look at him. Say, How do we look at him? I'm sorry, daddy screwed up. I overcorrected, I over, uh, yay, yay. It's pride. We get so prideful. What's the first word? There's a wonderful, wonderful book out called It's a Purpose Driven Line. First line in it is what? <laughs> It ain't about you! How do I know that? Because Christ, when he died on the cross, the last things he said from the cross were all oh about God, this God. afternoon. About, you know, when we are able to do something and it glorifies God, it's not our light that's shining. It's not for our glory, for our... It's for God's glory. I'm going to end with this, knowing this. I'm going to get on this horse here in a minute, and when I get on, don't applaud, okay? Because if he gets excited, I think she will. I don't want her to jump. She's doing really good with that bit. Rick. <laughs> For a five-year-old, it's never been had a well, she's been smart is all I got. Either that or those mares have her really buffalo in the pasture where she is because she's pretty battle scarred. But that says a lot. But you if you have a horse that's unwilling, if you are willing to work with it, usually, and there are horses that can't be broken, there's horses I can't break. I'm not like I said, I'm no great trainer. I do what I've learned and what I know how to do and what works. Not everything works. Some horses are different. I can do I can do a hundred horses and do one trick with them, and then all of a sudden I do the hundred and one horse and it doesn't work. I have to figure out something. So what? Are you thinking about going back? I see you. I see you. I see you. She's not so sure about this set. Okay, Are you, sweetheart? But she's not tied down. She's not. She's learning. She's trying to figure it out. But if I let go now, what? She learns that if I wall her my head around, he'll let go. And people who don't know what they're doing, they'll let go. And the, who's training? Who's the question? There. 